Jeremy Cole, I'm an artisan. I work on three founding principles, beauty, elegance and craftsmanship. I'd like to ask you, how do you work? I work on a very simple principle of crafting the works that I design myself in-house. Um, the main reason being is that I have ultimate control over quality, process and um, arriving at the end goal at a, a quality that I'm happy with. Yeah. And I understand you're self-taught. I was very fortunate to have three keys um, that, were, that were in my life. My, my mother, who was uh, a creative, who taught me about elegance and beauty. My grandfather, who taught me about craftsmanship, but not just craftsmanship, but about uh, perfectionism. It's an unobtainable thing, but he taught me to really strive for it. And then the last one, which was, I guess uh, fate was um, tertiary education as a place of art. Uh, they taught me about um, accounting, basically. And it gave me the, the, the insight and the ability to understand the makeup and the build up about simple things like how to price a product, how to break things down, how to find ways, how, how, to, how to cost analyze for how long it's going to take things to be made. Because at the end of the day, although I am an artisan and a craftsman, I need to always make sure that I use my time as efficiently as possible. And these are just more keys that I pass on to my team. People could imagine you there all covered in oh, dust I, and, I look and like all that a stuff. Paint can exploded some days. It's kind of embarrassing walking downtown to get my lunch and I look like um, yeah, I've, I've been dipped in clay basically. Um, but no, I don't I don't I don't work by myself. I have a sensational team. Um, a great group of people who, who are um, graduates fine arts, um, and they really um, are, are a great key to, to helping me to be able to deal with production and the growth because there, there, there are a lot of uh, aspects and components to the work. The flax has 350 ceramics on it, um, overall component count is about 2,500 that goes into the light, um, and they've all been very patient with me in taking the time to uh, listen and to, for, for me to pass on my knowledge to them to, to build the skills to be able to realise what we do um, efficiently and quickly um, because with any um, ceramic studio um, no, no matter what you do whether it's a manufacturing plant efficiency is key. Um, I embrace technology um, I think that it is um, absolute key to growing um, you stand still in this day and age and um, you'll fall off the radar um, so it's, a, it's, it's, it's an evolution of product, but when you have an evolution of product, you need to have tools to implement the growth. When you started your work, when you started doing this, there were some truths that you... I would think there were truths that you held dear. Mm. What, what were those, and, and, and have you added to that as you continue with your body of work? Um, I, I, think, I think the body of works, um, as the body of works changed, um, my three keys have always stayed there. If I walk away from them, or if I move too far from them, I then get lost within the realms of my existence. Um, the three keys always are beauty, elegance, and craftsmanship. Um, to, to lose those keys, I, I'd rather um, stop doing what I'm doing and go do something else. Yeah, yeah. And what advice would you have for young people? If you have a dream, just don't. Just, just, if you have a product in mind, find a way to make it. Students spend a lot of money uh, going through educational uh, programs, sometimes up to $60,000, $70,000. Um, when they get to the end of that course, or even if they haven't been through an educational program, when they have an idea to develop it or to take it externally to get assistance from a craftsperson to develop it, if, if it costs $5,000, 
it's it's an easy and cheap shot to test the market. And to test the market, it's purely finding local government to support you going to exhibition. If you don't go to exhibition, you'll never know if there's a big market. You have to go to an exhibition to show your work, to find interest, maybe from a manufacturer, or if, 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 you're, if that person might be a, 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 a craftsperson who has a love affair with their medium and wants to be involved in every process, it gives them the opportunity to sell their work. And these are really important keys because without the interest, without the, the sales, there's, there isn't the chain of developing revenue. And, and it's, th these, are, these are accounting words. But what you have to understand and realise is without these, the, these key ingredients, which may sound um, like accounting terms, nothing will ever happen. It won't. It, it'll stay a dream. And you have to, you have to embrace um, the, 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 the short-term expenditure to investigate your dream and then find assistance from local government to go to an international trade fair or a local trade fair to actually start the wheels rolling because that's how I did it and once the wheels started rolling I couldn't stop them so you know, and, and, and I am very very fortunate to be in a position right now I, I completely realise it.